what are the best products I've encountered in 2021? Well, Welcome to Life in My Shoes Reviews and Such. In this year ending episode, I'm doing something just slightly different than the norm, and I wanted to highlight some of the best products that I encountered in 2021. As bad of a year as it was, I did encounter some exceptional product that are, are noteworthy. Uh, as a caveat, I will include the links to the videos uh, that I've done reviews up here across the top as I review that product. And I will just kind of give you a 50 foot view because you can go watch the video for the full review. But there are a couple products that did not make it into the review rotation. And I will spend a little bit, not much more, a little bit more time talking about those products uh, and giving you a highlight of those products. Um, there are six, seven, eight of these products and they are in no particular order. But let's jump into number one. The first product is a running product and that is Stance, S-T-A-N-C-E socks. So I encountered these uh, through the retailer um, jackrabbit.com. Uh, they were running a sale on socks and if you are a runner or if you hike or you do anything, one thing you have to quickly learn is that equipment is essential. And equipment is everything from shirt, shorts, underwear, socks, uh, shoes, all of that is important. So it is important when you find a very good pair of socks that you kind of stick with them. For a lot of years, I've run in Nike dry fit socks. My first races ever, I think I ran in maybe in Ginny, uh, uh, in Ginji, the uh, toe socks. Uh, but I encountered a stance earlier this year, and they are um, fitted to the foot, so a right and a left. Um, these are uh, mid midway up, so they're not a, a knee high, but they go probably mid mid calf, um, and they have uh, some nice features. So let me give you a little bit of the features of it. I don't, I won't go into too much. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, they have the cushioning, so obviously on the toes and the heel, there is cushioning. Um, they have arch support, so it's again, you can see kind of the, the, the way it's built in, almost like a compression around the midfoot. Um, they have a seamless toe, toe box, so you don't see the seam is not something that would irritate your toes, which is awesome. And then they say it is <coughs> low profile cushion, compression and breathability featuring Feel 360 fiber technology that remains fresh, dry and durable mile after mile. So I bought these, these were the first pair I bought. Um, I think I got this color because it was on sale. I have since found a three pack of uh, a blackish version of the sock that I have. Um, and I bought a three pack at a, at a discounted rate. And I absolutely love them. Um, they have become my go-to. So when I am looking for new socks, I go looking for stance. So there you are, that is product number one. Now let's talk about product number two. Product number two is, while a sponsored product it was, I also went out and bought additional pairs of them and that is the Thousand Miles All Day Shorts. So they did uh, sponsor me in a video earlier this year. They gave me a pair of green and a blue. I was able to later go in and buy these in the gray. So these are the uh, Thousand Miles all day shorts. Um, again, a quick highlight of the, the features of these shorts are that they're packable so you can fold them completely into their, their own back pocket and it just is a real packable uh, product. They're more breathable, they have UV protection, they have uh, two side pockets on the front and then they have two back pockets which both have a zipper which was ideal when I was traveling on vacation. They have a split hem on the leg, um, they have a stretchable waistband, and then they have a hidden drawstring that the drawstring is on the inside. It also has a button so you can kind of drop the drawstring on the inside. Um, from a material perspective, it's a bi-component material. Um, it's three times more stretchable, four times more moisture wicking, super soft, lightweight, and quick drying. So they make for a really good um, hot weather short. 
um, and I actually wore them at least once, if not twice, uh, doing uh, yard work, and I think once for a run. Uh, very nice. I like having these in my wardrobe. Uh, they're great summer shorts and great in the warm weather. So let's talk about product number three. Product number three is a Sutera bath stone mat. So this is something, I don't know exactly where I saw this. It is a diatomaceous stone. Um, and I saw it advertised somewhere and decided that I would make this purchase for my wife and I as a Christmas present. Here's a picture of the stone itself. And then over here, I will play a video of the stone in action in my bathroom. Um, so let me give you a little bit of details about this. So as I mentioned, it's a diatomaceous uh, stone. It's a natural stone bath mat. It's 23 and a half inches by 15. Um, it is ultra absorbent, which you see in the video in quick drying. Um, it has an anti-slip uh, bathroom floor mat. So underneath the stone, since that is a, generally a tile floor in your bathroom, there is a mat that it sets on that prevents it from sliding. Um, and um, it is uh, antibacterial. So it is a neat feature. Now I got that in a white. Um, I bought it on Amazon in the Sutera store on Amazon. They only had the white color. <clears throat> there is a gray, a dark gray color that is available if you go directly to Sutera site. I probably would have done that. I don't think it would show as much. Um, it does come with some sandpaper that as the stone starts to get stained, which you'll see, you may still see some lingering footprints on our stone. They say as it gets stained, you can kind of sand out some of those footprints. To me, they're not a big deal, but uh, it has been a really cool purchase. It does dry amazingly fast and it looks nice in uh, a bathroom. So. It is a top product that I encountered in 2021. Now, product number four. Next, number four is the Roan commuter pant. And again, I will put the link up above. I do not have the pants with me right now. I'll put the link above. Uh, of the athleisure pants that I've purchased this year and in the last year and a half, I think I have a pair of Old Navy, have a pair of Lululemon, I have the public rec all day, every day, and then I have the uh, Roan commuter pant. The Roan commuter pant really has been the one that I like the most. Now, I wish they were a little slimmer. They're a little more uh, straight fitting. I wish they were a little slimmer fitting, which they do sell those Roan, um, but they have been my favorite overall. I also wish I had them in a different color, but such is life. Uh, some quick 50 foot overview of the Roan commuter pant. So they are a flex knit fabric, which is like a proprietary fabric to Roan. They have a security zipper back pocket. So the back wallet pocket has a zipper on it. It has a media pocket in the front. And then it says they are gusted for comfort and uh, mobility. Again, the product has a great bit of stretch. They're super comfortable. I think you can dress them up uh, to casual dress. You can drop, dress them down to casual, but a really, uh, comfortable pair of pants. I'm Again, I'm looking to try to get my hands on more athleisure pants to try out in the uh, new year, but additionally, getting my hands on a pair of the commuter pants in a slim from Roan, I'd be uh, very curious about that as well. So now, on to product number five. Number five is my most recent review, which is the True Classic Long Body T-Shirts. These were a great purchase, a great sale. I should have bought more of them uh, over the Black Friday, 50% um, off sale. I will be watching them for more. They fit great, they feel great. I feel great when I wear them. Nice shirt. Again, um, the quick overview is the long body has an additional three inches. <coughs> they have a rounded bottom hem and a drop tail. Um, all the t-shirts are 60% uh, combed ring spun cotton and 40% polyester uh, jersey. Um, they have a classic side seam, and then they have a soft tag, which is screen printed in the back. So again, the reviews for the uh, True Classic Tees t-shirts are up here, but the long body are superb, and I definitely will be looking for more of those in uh, the new year. So on to product number six. Product number six is the Aftershock Air. 
So these are the bone conduction headphones that I purchased earlier in the year. I specifically bought them for running because I wanted to have my ears free when I was running out in public um, to be able to listen to music, but also to be able to hear cars, people, animals, etc. Uh, so they've been really good for that, and I wear them a lot for that. Uh, a quick overview is they use the Bluetooth uh, 4.2 technology. They're IP55 water resistant, uh, not waterproof. <clears throat> they have a six hour battery battery life. Um, they are lightweight. They are very comfortable um, and they are open ear. So again, they set right in front of the ear um, and leave the ear open. Um, and you can't really hear them when you're around. So sometimes you could hear people that have the music coming into earbuds. You can hear it when they get it so loud. You can't hear it real, um, really hear it when you're doing the bone conduction. So they've been a great purchase. I've used them for primarily for running, even on the treadmill. I use them on the a treadmill, so I still have my ears free um, around the house. Um, but I've really enjoyed them from a running perspective. And now on to product number seven. Product number seven and the last product in my list is Wave Soda. So I did a, a review of Wave Soda earlier in the year, very early in the year. <clears throat> and um, I uh, purchased a, a variety pack from Wave Soda and uh, loved it, really enjoyed the variety pack. Um, sent uh, the video to Wave. Uh, a, you know, I think I may have tagged them in, um, maybe I wrote a review and I tagged them in the review. But then Wave Soda was so kind as to send me another variety pack. Uh, in that instance, the second pack, uh, pack had grapefruit, which grapefruit was not in the original pack because I think it was a, a late addition. Um, but I enjoyed that as well. Uh, was disappointed that I could only order it online um, and really it, it was a little bit of an inconvenience. And then uh, as the year progress it progressed, uh, the Kroger chain picked up Wave Soda as a product that they began selling. So now I'm able to go get um, about four, they have the mango, which is one of my favorite, <coughs> the blackberry or the blueberry and the raspberry, I think. Um, and then they have the tangerine, so they do not have the cucumber and they do not have the apple and they do not have the grapefruit. Um, but I've loved these, again, to highlight it, 9% soda water, 15% fruit juice. Uh, they are only two to six grams of sugar from the fruit juice and only 15, <coughs> 15 to 25 calories per can. Um, there's 42 milligrams of all natural caffeine, which comes from a, a, a green coffee bean, which is about the same amount of caffeine as in, in a diet soda. And then there's no sugar added, no preservatives, no stevia, no high fruct fructose corn syrup, uh, and no ingredients you can't pronounce. So the ingredients are very uh, pronounceable, very self-explanatory. Uh, they did just recently come out with a cola flavor, which I'm eager to try. I hope that my Kroger gets it. If not, maybe in 2022, I'll make a purchase of um, a case of their cola just to try it out. But this has been a surprise find and probably my new favorite uh, soda beverage, uh, bar none at this point. So there you go. There are seven products that I encountered in 2021, despite it being a horrible, another horrible year, um, I have encountered some great products. There are some great companies out there, and sometimes they're not always um, have the most well-known product. Um, they uh, may not be the best, uh, but you know they are great products that I encountered, and I strongly encourage you to find those companies that make the products that make you happy, that meet your needs, and support those companies. Um, whether it be by buying products, uh, doing reviews, just sending them some love in the next year because we know all small businesses and all businesses in general really need the help uh, coming out of the last two years that we've had as a people. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts, comments below. Uh, go and watch some of these other reviews that are mentioned. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these products out? And are there any types of products that you'd like me to try in the next year? Let me know. I'll see if I can get my hands on them. Um, I know I definitely want to try um, 
the Wave Cola. So that will be coming in 2022 and that's a given. Um, and there are some others that I know I'll be purchasing next year that I guarantee I'll do reviews on, but I don't want to say anything too soon. So I hope you had a happy holiday. I hope you have a happy new year. And I'll be back to you early next year with uh, some new reviews on some new products. Until then, love one another and be safe out there.